guys, it's just me. I'm here doing my 35 week pregnancy update. I mean, this is crazy. It's going by so fast. Um, I cannot believe that I'm 35 weeks already. Uh, my days turn over on Tuesdays. Um, so I'm actually past 35 weeks, but I'm just filming this today just to throw it up because I had some interesting things happen the last, within the last week, we'll say. Um, so anyways, I had a doctor's appointment, um, last Thursday, um, and I thought they were going to do my streppy B test, but they did not because I was not 35 weeks yet. So I'm actually have an appointment scheduled on Thursday and they will do it there and then. Um, but anyways, I went into my appointment and I told my doctor that I was having contractions, um, and my contractions... Um, they've been very irregular, um, not, you know, not the normal, um, obviously I'm not to that point yet where they would be coming every couple of minutes because I'm not in labor. <laughs> so anyways, um, I told my doctor that I've been having really bad contractions and my contraction pains, um, happen a lot at night. Um, I literally wake up, my stomach is so tight, um, it feels like... I could turn over and my water could literally just break that's how tight it is and these contractions have been lasting like a minute and a half um, so not not normal not good feeling um, so I, you know I was like I'm having these contractions I kind of want to see if there's anything going on um, if there's anything I need to worry about um, so they went ahead and they checked me and they did a um, I think it's well it's a swab to see if you're gonna be going into labor in the next like week or a couple days or something like that um, and the doctor when he checked me he couldn't um, tell um, the length of my cervix um, he couldn't tell like if it was thinned out he thought it was thinned out um, a good amount and he was worried about how far it was thinned out um, because with it being thinned out too far, that can obviously mean, um, preterm labor, um, you know, and just being where I'm at, um, they just want to make sure her lungs were going to be developed if, you know, if I wanted to labor and that kind of thing. Um, so he did the swab and he sent me into labor and delivery to have me hooked up and they hooked me up for about an hour and a half. Um, and then they did an ultrasound to see how far I was thinned out. Um, I was thinned out a good amount, um, but, um, you know, with, with how far I am, he's like, well, we can let it go. And now if you start having some serious contractions again, um, you know, obviously we would just like to do a steroid shot just in case her lungs are not developed, um, just as a precaution and, um, that kind of thing. So um anyways um they hooked me up and the whole time i was hooked up i didn't really have any contraction she was moving a ton and then i want to say like five minutes before i was about to um get unhooked and go home um i had two really big contractions um so they weren't sure if they were gonna have me stay there or go and um, finally they ended up letting me go home and he's like, um, you know, if you have any, if you have contractions five within an hour, then we want you to come back in or call and this and that. So, um, but anyways, I, I've been doing pretty good besides that. I haven't had anything more like regularly than I was having. Um, so they're very inconsistent contractions. Um, also, um, I just been so tired, um, sleeping at night sucks. I've been having bad dreams, having to pee every five seconds. Um, I'm just ready for this to be over, um, and have her here. So anyways, um, I don't think there's anything really else to update about. Um, like I said, I have an appointment tomorrow, something you know seriously changes or something crazy happens I will do another update 
um, sooner than later. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.